It's lunchtime here at Consumer Reports, and I've decided to make myself a nice little healthy sandwich. And I'm gonna have the help of Trisha Calvo, who's a food editor here, and uh, I think I got this right. Okay, yeah. let me add a little Jack. ham here. Are you yeah. trying to eat healthier? Yes, and I think I got one of the healthiest sandwiches. What do you think? Well, I think you could make a couple of improvements. Really? But why? There's nothing fried here. The potato chips are fried. Oh. And also, this is processed lunch meat. But I've been eating ham and uh, white bread for and so long it's already. very high in sodium. Oh. Sodium. It's one of the most common and important elements on Earth. It's located right here on the periodic table. Over 70% of sodium in our diets comes from eating packaged and prepared foods. Only a small amount of the sodium we consume each day comes from the salt shaker. Now, although the human body needs sodium to survive, most of us consume way too much. And doing so could lead to high blood pressure and increase your risk for heart disease and stroke. According to the Food and Drug Administration, all of us should be consuming less than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day the average adult consumes 3,400 milligrams, while most 14 to 18 year olds consume 3,700 milligrams. As Trisha points out, my meal is loaded with sodium, but she can help me build a better one. We've got here some whole wheat bread. That's got a lot of fiber in it. I'm gonna put a little chicken on here. So why this is better than the processed meat is because it doesn't have all of the sodium and the nitrates. And then I'm gonna add some vegetables because this will add some crunch to my sandwich and will also add some extra nutrition. Now, I see you have hummus there. I do. And what I'm gonna do with the hummus is I'm gonna use it instead of mayonnaise. Hummus is really just chickpeas and some sesame seeds and some oil. Right. And it really does have fiber in it. Now, what about for teenagers or kids, you know, that want to pack a uh, school lunch? What you might want to pack it with is a little bit of fruit, which will make it even healthier. So I have an apple and a banana. I yeah, think apple and a banana is nice. great. The apple adds a little crunch and is much better for you than your chips. So let's compare the sodium levels over two meals. My white bread, processed lunch meat, mayo, cheese, chips, and a glass of fruit juice comes to a total of 1,170 milligrams of sodium. Trisha's sandwich with wheat bread, grilled chicken, hummus, veggies, some fruit, and a glass of water is only 525 milligrams of sodium. A huge difference. So this is a healthy sandwich. That's a healthy sandwich. So I think because of your tips, I'm going to have to change the way I make my sandwiches. Nice. Thank you so much. But there's somebody there who's saying something to you. Oh. Like, oh. 